Today, we're gonna to be jumping into leather crafting by making a DIY leather tote bag. We're gonna be making this tote bag out of our four to five ounce vegetable tan leather side, now found on Sailrite's website. It's called vegetable tan because of the process it undergoes turning a cowhide into leather. It uses natural tannins found in plants and trees. Because of this natural process, the leather is gonna appear lighter in color, but over time, it's gonna develop a nice patina. We're using vegetable tan leather because it's long lasting, durable, and very high quality, so it'll be perfect for our tote bag. We're gonna show you all the tools you need to get started, and we're gonna get into this project. And a good rule to follow before you start cutting your leather, strop all your tools so you have a nice sharp edge to work with. Here's the template for what we're gonna be making. Feel free to pause it and write down any dimensions you need. We're gonna be rolling out our leather side, tracing our pattern with our scratch all, and cutting it out. Once we've cut out our template, we're also gonna to need to mark where the rivets will go. You can reference the template at the beginning of the video for these measurements. We need to bevel the bag where our opening will be. Beveling will remove the hard, sharp edges and prepare our bag for the next step. We will bevel both sides of our leather along the top and bottom edges. Next, we're gonna burnish our top and bottom edges. This will make our edges smooth, which gives the bag a more finished look. We're gonna use water, saddle soap, and a hand burnisher. I'm first gonna use water. When putting water on the edge, try not to get any on the grain side. It may leave a stain when it dries. Now we're gonna do a quick burnish. You don't need to push down hard. Let friction do the work. Now that we've burnished a little bit with water, we're gonna go ahead and apply saddle soap and burnish again. To use the saddle soap, we're gonna take a rag and some warm water, then swirl it in a circular motion until the saddle soap has a paste-like consistency. So now that both of our sides are burnished, what we're gonna do is bring these two edges together and this is where our seam will be. To make sewing easier, we're gonna hold it in place with basting tape. This will go on the grain side, but after you flip it right side out, you're not gonna see the tape. I will be using quarter inch basting tape. Make sure to stop your basting tape half inch from the bottom of the bag where the box corners come together. Removing this notch will make it a lot easier to sew our corners. Let's go over to the sewing machine and mark our quarter and half inch seams. Then we will sew both seams. And like our basting tape, we're gonna sew our seams, leaving about a half inch unsewn on the bottom. Now we're gonna cut a notch on both corners where we left it unsewn. Now with these notches cut out, it'll be much easier to sew. Let's head over to the sewing machine and sew it. Now everything is sewn together, so we're gonna flip our bag right side out. This can take a while, so have some patience when doing so. Now that our bag is flipped right side out, we need to make our straps. To cut these straps, we're gonna be using our Sailrite strap cutter. We're gonna be cutting these straps one inch wide from our leather side that we previously used. These straps are gonna be 36 inches in length. 
Now that our straps are cut out, we want to round the corners. We're gonna use this cap because it fits nicely. You can use whatever you'd like. I'm gonna mark this radius with my scratch all and then cut it out with the utility knife. Now that we have our straps cut out and our edges rounded, we're gonna repeat the same beveling and burnishing as we did on the top side of the bag. Now that our edges are beveled and burnished, we're gonna make the marks where we need to punch holes out where our rivets will be installed. We want this part of the strap to extend three inches from the top of the bag. We're gonna make our first mark at one and a quarter inch and our second at two and a half. Now you're ready to use a punch and make holes for your rivets. I'm going to be using this eighth inch punch to make our holes. Let's line it up with the marks we made and make sure you have a suitable surface underneath for punching holes. So now that I'm finished making these holes, I'm gonna use this piece as a template to finish making the rest of my holes on the straps. So now these holes should line up with our reference marks we made in our template for our toe earlier. And like our straps, we're gonna use this as a template to go ahead and notch out our holes. Okay, all of our holes are punched and we're ready to attach the straps. We're gonna be using rivets. Now let's set all of our rivets. I'm gonna be using a mallet and hammering these from the inside of the bag. I don't wanna miss and leave a mark on the outside of our bag. And there you have it, our leather tote. This bag looks great now, and it's gonna look even better as a patinas. For a list of all the tools and materials we've used, we've linked it in the description below. If you have any suggestions on leather projects, be sure to comment them. Also, be sure to like and subscribe so you stay up to date on all of our latest videos.